I just love it when we go to bed in one place and wake up in another. Last night we left Athens. Today we arrived in Santorini, one of the most beautiful islands in the whole world. The ship moored out in the caldera and we got the tender to the shore. I decided that it was an appropriate time to use the 360 camera. It gives a little variety to the film. A great shot of the ship. And an even more amazing shot of the tender. Believe it or not, here Nate is holding the camera. This is his shot. Welcome to the world of 360. And welcome to Santorini. This is my third trip here, and believe it or not, I was here last month with Rachel. So we got our cable car tickets and got ready to ascend.
time for another 360 shot where we were able to fly outside of the cable car and get amazing views. Santorini was named in the 13th century after Saint Irene, Santa Irene. The name Terra was used from the 19th century as the official name of the island and its main city. But the name Santorini is still used. Below is the remnant of the volcanic caldera. Calderas are formed by the inward collapse of a volcano. Santorini embraces the caldera. We're excited as we arrive with blue skies, a cool sea breeze offsetting the hot Mediterranean weather. Some fascinating sights already. We're expecting crowds. 1.5 million tourists visit every year. The population is only 15,000. Three cruise ships in today. I glance at the accommodations below and wish we were staying here a little longer. Santorini is famous for the whitewashed houses that cling to the cliffside and as many meandering paths and staircases packed tightly together throughout the town. The cable car was six euros each way. The blue skies and sunshine make it a remarkably beautiful place. The caldera, the cruise ships, and the white buildings set on top of the hills, which when viewed from below often look as though they're snow-capped, is certainly a magical place.